channel welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new today is going to be a grocery haul also i apologize for the background noise i have madison home with me so i just wanted to go ahead and film this intro because i was editing it and i noticed i never filmed an intro when i filmed this grocery haul so this is on like a completely different day but i thought i would jump on here really quickly let you guys know what today's video is going to be obviously by the title you already know but i wanted to do an intro i haven't done like a dedicated grocery haul on my channel i think since last year i think the last one was probably trader joe's i'm pretty sure that was the last one i have included like um grocery hauls into like cleaning videos or vlogs but i haven't done like a just dedicated video so i wanted to do that today to change it up um this was groceries for an entire week for me and my family i am a family of four these are things that um that will last us for the week so i thought i would share with you guys and just a quick disclaimer like i always like to say i'm not claiming that this is a super clean and super healthy grocery haul yes there are snacks in there for me and my family that is processed and probably has a lot of bad stuff in it but i like to enjoy and i like to enjoy every once in a while and i like to treat my kids as well so just wanted to make that quick disclaimer but like i said i'm a family of four if you guys are new to my channel it's me my husband and my two little ones ages eight and nine i was gonna say seven and eight but they just turned eight and nine um and i try to only grocery shop one time throughout the week which is on fridays and i do find myself going out to the grocery store multiple times throughout the week but i'm trying to get better with that because i'm trying to stay on a budget so this is um groceries that i bought to last us an entire week but enough of my rambling now i'm just talking now i'm just rambling madison's asking me for some more chips so i'm gonna go ahead and get her a snack and now it's going to jump in to the grocery haul and i think i also filmed when i put everything away I didn't really organize or clean the fruit or do any of that because I was on a time crunch. Um, but I will be filming a refrigerator, like, um, clean and organize with me soon, as well as a pantry, hopefully. So look out for that. But anyways, it's going to jump right in to the grocery haul. All right, you guys. So as you guys can see, I was home from the grocery store and I was just unpacking everything and laying everything out on my kitchen counters. So I don't think I mentioned this, but I did go to two different grocery stores. I went to Lidl, which is a new grocery store that just opened up right down the street from our house. And then I also went to Kroger because there are a few things that Lidl did not carry that I had to grab from my other grocery store. And I think the total was around 220 that I spent. I think it was like 220 and change. So I went to two different grocery stores and it was a week's worth of groceries for 220 i would like to get that down a little bit lower so next week when i do grocery shopping i'm going to try to get it down a bit but yeah i did spend 220 on everything here all right guys so i laid everything out majority of everything is over here but what didn't fit over there i just threw over here so we're gonna go through everything as quick as possible and i will start over here in the corner this is where all like the fruit and veggies are so we got a bag of apples two cases of strawberries and i probably had to go back out to get more because we go through strawberries so quick i also got a bag of grapes some mandarin oranges i also got some lemons mini avocados broccoli green beans asparagus brussels sprouts mini multicolor um sweet peppers some baby carrots a sweet onion I grabbed two of these Jimmy Dean bacon, like little egg cups. Madison eats breakfast at school, so I had to pack breakfast and lunch for her. And this is just easy for mornings. I'm running late. I just throw this really quickly in the microwave and then I put it in a thermos for her and she loves them. I got two cases of eggs. I got two cases of eggs on accident because I got one from Lidl. And then when I went to Kroger, I grabbed a case because I thought I didn't get eggs at Lidl, but it's okay. We go through eggs pretty quickly. So we got two, um cases of brown eggs also got these rosaroni cups for madison also for like a quick lunch for her for school the first one is a cheddar broccoli and then a creamy four cheese one box of chips for kids snacks a small little um cereal cup for madison also i can throw in for breakfast for her i got a pack of cookies for the kids snacks that comes with a few different choices some cereal for the kids I grabbed this. I've never had it before, but it looked interesting. I want to try it. I'm not keto, but this is a keto grain-free cinnamon cereal and it has 12 grams of protein, 
four grams of net carbs and zero sugar. So we'll see how that tastes. I love cinnamon. So I have a feeling I will probably like this. I got two boxes of granola bars for the kids. More snacks, just these cheese and pretzel little snacks, little mini cupcakes. They were out of hot dogs, so they go through phases. Sometimes they love hot dogs and sometimes they don't. Recently, they've been really loving hot dogs, so grabbed them some more hot dogs. Got a little loaf of this Italian, is it Italian bread? Oven baguette, I don't know. I got it from Lidl, my husband really likes these, so I grabbed one of those. Grabbed some salami. I grabbed this pack of carnitas because I'm gonna make some burritos tonight for dinner. Pizza crust. I don't think I showed you guys, but I grabbed three packs of some chicken. So we have some um, chicken breasts. I got two packs of those and then one pack of chicken thighs. And then over here we have some cheese. So two packs of sharp cheddar cheese, one pack of pizza cheese. Grab these drinks. They are alcoholic drinks. Um, but I grabbed three of them because we are going on the boat this weekend with some friends. And I thought these would be good just to throw into the cooler. So I grabbed two of the fruit punch ones and then one of the blue raspberry. And that will go in the cooler. And then all this will also come with us on the boat for like snacks. So I grabbed Ryan just a little pizza Lunchable. And then Madison doesn't like these. But she loves like cheese and like lunch meat. So I grabbed her this one. It comes with cheese salami or not salami peroni and then it comes with like nuts and chocolate so got that for madison got some twizzlers and some gummy bears regular gummy bears and then sour gummy bears our friend is coming with us they have a little boy so figured the kids would want some gummy bears i'll probably snack on those too as well on the boat because i love gummy bears then i grabbed a bag of white cheddar popcorn to bring with us and some barbecue chicharrones i love those they're fried pork rinds and they're just a really good snack. I also got a bag of potatoes, a box of bubbly, and what flavor is this? Blackberry. I don't think I've ever tried this flavor, so I thought I would try this out. Probably bring this on the boat as well. And then over here, I'm so out of breath. Over here, I got the kids' bread. I forgot to get my bread, so I'm going to have to go back out to get my bread sometime this week. But got the kids some bread some dark chocolate um, morsels. I'm gonna be making some protein like balls for snacks. So I grabbed these protein Kodiak oats to make that and I needed dark chocolate chips so I grabbed that. Also was out of my chia seeds so I grabbed another bag of that. We got tomato sauce, two cans of tomato sauce, one can of tomato paste, some mac and cheese. Ryan hates mac and cheese but Madison loves it so I grabbed her some Mac and cheese. I was out of body wash, so I thought we'd try this one out. Over here, I just got some yogurt for the kids. These are perfect to bring on the boat with us and to pack in the kids' school lunches. So one box I'll probably keep for school lunches, and then the other box I will bring with us this weekend on the boat. My husband's soda. I grabbed a big thing of some Greek vanilla yogurt. Some heavy cream for a recipe I will be making this week. My husband's ice cream, little mini orange juices for Madison's um, breakfast at school, oat milk. I usually always buy almond milk, but recently I've been into oat milk. So I got some oat milk, some orange juice for the kids. And yeah, that is it. So that is my grocery haul. That is everything. Now I have to put everything away and then head out to get the kids. So now it is time to put all the groceries away and as always I was in a rush and I was trying to get everything put away as quickly as possible because I did have to run out to get the kids from school. I feel like there's never enough time in a day to get everything done I would like to get done. I always try to squeeze as much errands and as much chores or whatever I need to get done while the kids are in school during school hours just because it's just easier smoother and faster to get it done while the kids are in school but like i said i feel like there's never enough time so i was rushing to put everything away that is why you guys are seeing that i'm just like kind of like throwing things in there wasn't really organizing it like i usually do i didn't have time to wash the fruits or veggies and cut them up like i usually like to do also i think i asked you guys in a few other videos i'm not sure but I need new recommendations on um, like suggestions on how to clean your fruits and veggies. I used to buy a fruit 
and veggie cleaner from i believe whole foods but we rarely go to whole foods anymore just because one it's super expensive and two it's just so far so yeah i need some new ideas i know some people use like vinegar and water but I'm looking for something else to clean my fruit and veggies with. So let me know what you guys or how you guys clean your fruit and I can try and test it out and see how it works out for us. I like to also cut up the fruit just because it makes it easier for the kids to grab some snacks. But anyways, enough of my rambling. As you guys can see, I'm just going to continue putting everything away. And then that'll be it for today's video. I didn't get around to doing anything else. This was just a dedicated video of me showing you guys what I bought for me and my family for groceries for a week. And then I decided to just include me putting everything away. So if you guys enjoy grocery hauls and you guys would like me to do it more often, let me know in the comments. I would like to go to Trader Joe's soon. I have not been probably since last year. So let me know if you guys would like me to do a grocery haul, maybe from Trader Joe's or Sprouts or if there's a specific grocery store you guys have in mind, let me know. And if I have it locally near me, I will do a grocery haul there. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And if you guys would like me to start filming these more often and every once in a while, I will include it in it to my upload schedule. So now I'm just going to quickly clean up the mess that I made while I was putting all the groceries away. And then that'll be it for today's grocery haul. Like I mentioned before, if you guys want more grocery hauls, just let me know in the comments. And I will every once in a while film it and include it into my upload schedule. But as always, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.